Thank you all. You can have a seat, our graduates. Well, welcome, everybody. And uh, we want to do a special welcome to all the family members that are here. If you're a family member, one of these wonderful graduates, raise your hand. Raise your hand if you're a family member. Let's give them a round of applause for them, please. Well, we are so proud of each of you, and we have a wonderful program today. And I want to thank all my colleagues who uh, were supportive and helpful. I especially want to thank uh, our board member, Dr. Rebecca Lake, who's over here, Rebecca, and uh, she'll be a part of today's program. This is really an exciting moment in Plymouth Place history, the first graduation we've had for the CNA school. And lots of work, as I mentioned, went into uh, getting the school, which is approved by the Illinois Department of Public Health. And if you've worked with the Department of Public Health, it is not easy to get that certification. And uh, again, we're so proud of getting that achievement. And uh, really an iconic moment. I call it the moment of truth at Plymouth Place, because this is what we're about. And so our theme here at Plymouth Place, whether it's residents, guests, family members, or our other customer, the employees, our staff, is making a difference in the lives of people. So without further ado, I'm going to ask Diane Easter to come up to the mic here. And uh, the Easter family is a very special family. They uh, donated the money uh, very graciously for the uh, John and Barb Easter Learning Center, which was the key point with equipment and space and technology to make sure we can hold the program. So, uh, Diane, I want you to say a few words. Thank you so much to you and your family, and this is part of the results of uh, your commitment to Plymouth Place. Diane Easter, let's give Diane a round of applause. Thank you. <clears throat> I'm here on behalf of my brother and sister who couldn't be here, and uh, so delighted to be part of this graduation and the first CNA class. It's exciting to see the vision of having a dedicated learning space here at Plymouth Place for employees, and uh, wonderful to see that vision come to fruition. And I get verklempt hearing pomp and circumstance <laughs> wherever I am. So it's, uh, uh, we thought it was an honor to our folks' uh, memory to, uh, they were both, my mom was a teacher, my dad a manager of people, and development of people was uh, important to him. So we thought this was a, a wonderful way to honor their memory. And congratulations all and uh, excited for what the future holds. Thanks. Hi, can you hear me okay? I'm Sean Stevens, I'm the executive director here at Plymouth Place. Welcome CNA school graduates. Today marks a significant milestone in your lives. You have successfully completed your journey at Plymouth Place CNA School, but not your journey at Plymouth Place. We are also very proud of you and how hard you have worked to get here today. Your role as a CNA is vital and your work is noble. You provide care and comfort to those who need it the most. And every single day here, you have an opportunity to make a positive impact on the lives, days, and moments of those you support. The knowledge and skills you have acquired during your education here will help you through your, throughout your professional career, but they will also serve as tools for you to help make that positive difference in the lives of others. I know you will use those tools wisely and with kindness. In the words of Maya Angelou, people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but they will never forget how you made them feel. And I know that you make our residents feel really good every day, so thank you for that. Today is about taking the time to pause and reflect on how hard you have worked to get to this exact moment in time and what you have accomplished. Going to CNA school while working and managing responsibilities at home is a huge undertaking, and you did it. My hope for you is that you carry the same courage and determination that got you here today with you always, and that you use that courage and determination to keep chasing your personal and professional dreams. Know that we think you are incredible, and that if you want to keep growing and investing in your future, our Plymouth Place team is here to help you every step of the way. In turn, we hope you will remember to lift up others and encourage them, as I know you have been encouraged. Congratulations. Hi. 
Hi, my name is Dr. Martha Klima Gamble, and I am the Senior Director of People Services. And I am proud and very honored to present to you our first ever CNA Academy graduates. Eraleni Chavari. Carmen Mateo. Mariana Santana. Carmel Sorrell. Congratulations. Hello, everyone. My name is Maricon Tate. I'm the Plymouth Sene Academy um, Program Coordinator. Uh, to the entire Plymouth team who, in one way or another, uh, lend a hand for the success of our Plymouth Sene Academy from orientation day to today's graduation day, thank you. As Michelle always says, it takes a village. To our first batch of graduates, Carmen, Carmel, Lenny, and Mariana, it has been a great privilege to work alongside with each one of you as your instructor. Each of you has successfully completed 123 hours of theory, labs, and clinicals as required by the Illinois Department of Public Health. We know the struggles and challenges you all had working full-time and completing the CNA certification at the same time. You all pass. We are all proud of your achievements. To all of your family, thank you as well for the support, for lending your arms, as they practice taking the blood pressure on your multiple times, <laughs> like really multiple times, or the repetitive range of motion exercises. Graduates, with your skills and knowledge, you are now ready to tackle the daily routine on our skilled nursing unit with the support of our nursing department, headed by Cassidy, our director of nursing. Good luck to each one of you as we continue our goal to provide exceptional person-centered care to all of our Plymouth residents. Congratulations. Hello, hello everybody. My name is Octavia Arrington and I'm the scheduler for the nursing department, but I also had the honor to be their mentors for the program. I just want to congratulate to each and every one of you. It was such a pleasure to share this moment with you all. Lenny, I'm so proud of you. You have managed to complete the Plymouth Place CNA Academy while working night shift as a resident assistant and attend Morton College for your RN degree. Congratulations. <laughs> I know at moments things seem overwhelming, but look at where you're at. With the determination you accomplish, and you can accomplish anything. I want to leave one thing to remember. Life is not always smooth sailing. It's more like a roller coaster with ups and downs. But remember, it's the bumps and the twists that make, you, make the ride exciting and memorable. Congratulations. I'm so proud of y'all. <laughs> Congratulations. I'm Nicole Hibbert. I'm the Senior Director of Assisted Living and Memory Care here at Plymouth Place. 
Um, and I feel like a proud mom in a way because three of these ladies work on our assisted living and or memory care neighborhoods. So if you ever want to know how exciting it is and how well taken care of our residents um, here at the memory care, um, this is a true testament to that. So congratulations. Carmen. Carmen joined our team um, a little over a year ago in the spring. Uh, she immediately became one of the most valuable care partners on Memory Care East. Her understanding and compassion for all of our residents living with brain changes, as well as her desire for continued education and advancement, makes her a great example of why our scholarship program here at Plymouth Place is so valuable. Carmen not only completed the CNA program, but is also an active participant in our TIPA Snow Positive Approach to Care Dementia Training. So in the famous words of Dr. Seuss, you're off to great places, today is your day, your, mount is, your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Congratulations to you all. This is just the beginning, and we can't wait to see all the places that you will go. Hi, everyone. My name is Cassidy, and I'm the director of nursing in the healthcare center. I just want to start off by saying how excited I am to be here today and be a part of this program. I know that the CNA program was um, a long-term goal and long-term vision of the organization, so I'm very happy to see this come to fruition. I was a part of the admission selection process for the program, and Mariana was the only applicant who applied that was not from a clinical discipline. Despite that, she performed amazingly every step of the way, especially in the clinical setting. I even had members of my current staff approach me to state how impressed they are with Mariana, pointing out her compassion, eagerness to learn, and stating that they were excited to have her on the team once she graduates. To all the graduates, you should be extremely proud of yourselves today. As a leader, mentor, coach, and instructor, it's always gratifying to see those you teach succeed. But the most rewarding thing about the process of teaching, for me, is the mutual learning that occurs between teacher and student. I know I wasn't the primary instructor for the course, but there's something I say to all my players at the end of the season. I hope you learned as much from me as I did from you. For many of you, this is only the first step to your career in healthcare. So congratulations, and I am so excited to see how much more you accomplish. Hello. I am Crystal, the clinical lead for Assisted Living, and I just want to say congratulations to you all, and I'm proud of all of you all. Um, I have Carmel here, Sorrell, who has been with us on the memory care unit from about 2001. Um, Carmel is one of the people that trains many of the night nice staff members and um, has a heart of gold for our residents living with dementia dementia issues. Carmel um, has proven to be reliable, compassionate, caring, and loving. She's a, le a leader amongst her peers, always having a positive attitude. Her desire to learn and go above and beyond is always obvious by her beautiful smile, by the beautiful smile on her face always. So each time I've spoken to uh, Carmel about nursing or, or um, farther in her education, I have seen the same passion each time speaking with her. She's always quick to give out hugs and make sure that everyone around her knows how special they are. Congratulations, Carmel, on these achievements. I want to say congratulations to you all again, and this is just the beginning. <laughs> Thank you all very much, and uh, as you can see, we have a dedicated and great leadership team who really cares about making an investment in the lives of others. At this point, we're going to do the blessing of the hands as a faith-based organization, nonprofit. It's so important that we do that and to honor um, our graduates. So Reverend Christina Bostein will come up as our chaplain and do the blessings of the hands. I'm sorry. I'm Christina. I'm one of two full-time chaplains here at Plymouth Place. Um, but before my ordination, I'm an RN. RN, 1976. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
I got my baccalaureate degree from Indiana University. I got my master's degree from the University of Arizona. And God will do what God will do. And uh, I've been ordained. So it is such an amazing blessing to bless your hands because your hands will bless others. This is just such a small piece of what is yet to be. So I'd ask that you'd set down your diplomas. We promise not to take them back. <laughs> and that you stand. And I would ask that each of the coaches for these uh, young women stand behind them and put a hand on their shoulder. And then just like I do with baptisms, I would ask all of you, as you are comfortable and able, to raise a hand towards these women and join me in this blessing. They need all of you, all of you, to support them in what is yet to be. Can you move closer? There we go. Holy One, we are so thankful for these hands, these hands that will touch others. May they never, ever underestimate the power of that touch to comfort, to express compassion, to express welcome and hospitality, to express acceptance just as a person is and to bring wholeness and healing. The power of the human touch is huge. May they always remember that, and may they reach out in love. We bless these hands. We bless the hands of those that brought them to this place. May these hands just be the beginning of what is yet to be. We thank you for them. In the name of all that is holy, amen. amen. I have a token for them, and it says never underestimate uh, the power of your hands as you touch others. And so it's a small coin for you to keep in your pocket. Amen. Thank you, Chaplain. And uh, again, congratulations, graduates. I now want to call upon uh, Dr. Rebecca Lake. And Dr. Rebecca Lake is our coach and mentor. She's a board member, herself teaches nursing at a university, and uh, who more appropriate than do the final pinning. Now I've asked Rebecca to do, do the pinning because I'm not good at that. We didn't want any injuries. So um, I'm going to read the names again. And uh, as you are receiving the pin, we will give you a round of applause. So again, our first graduate is Aralini Shavare. Congratulations, Aralini. Carmen Mateo. Mariana Santana. Okay, thank you, Mariana. And Carmel Sorrell.
want to thank you and thank uh, the mentors that serve these wonderful graduates at our first CNA Academy of Graduation. We are so proud as part of the board, I'm a member, and I am very well versed in nursing as well as healthcare. My uh, first degree was in nursing too, uh, many, many years ago. And uh, a path took me very differently. So I went up and did nursing as well as uh, became into administration in higher education. One of the things I would, I think that uh, I was laughing talking to Patty before uh, it started. And I was thinking, this is the first time I haven't given the keynote to any graduating class. <laughs> Usually, uh, I've been a vice president of uh, a community college as well as directors of nursing programs, and I've always given the keynote, and so this is the time. But I did want to take just, just a moment to offer three thoughts. One is, you are on a pathway, and please take advantage of professional development as you go, because you never know where the pathway is going to end up. I never knew, actually, that I would be Dr. Rebecca Lake, and I would be serving people in many different kinds of avenues, and you never know where life will take you. So always be open and take advantage of professional development. Not only will it help you grow in nursing, but it will always help you with your people that you take care of. Not only family, because family will ask you questions and questions and questions. Haven't they already started? And so you will become the, the guru of answering all healthcare questions. But nursing is the backbone of healthcare. We are the only profession that is there 24-7. And not a, no other occupation is there, but we are. And so we always want to grow and find out what's new so that we can make our patients safer and put them at ease and have them live the best life that they can live. Number two is you're part of the team. You're part of the nursing team. Make sure you always share with them what is going on with your patients. I have been there on the floor and have done all the things that you have done over and over and over again. <laughs> so uh, make sure that you keep the whole team in, uh, in apprised of the information that is going on with your patients and your clients. Because we are at Plymouth Place, such a place that older, the older generation, and myself included, one day I'll move in here too, is... Uh, living here at the best life they can, but our daughters and sons and brothers and sisters live somewhere else. So when they call in and talk, particularly on memory care and skilled nursing care, about how has my mother done, how has my father done, make sure that the person answering the phone, the team leader, it's usually the registered nurse, knows how they're doing. Because you're part of that team, and you're a very special part of that team. And the last thing I tell you is, for God's sakes, bring some humor into it. Because there's nothing better to anybody than a smile on your face and a humorous joke. I just heard one. Wasn't that humorous, but it, we all laughed about it. And, <laughs> and you know that humor makes time go by, that humor takes the little bite out of things that we can't control, but a good smile and humor on your, on your face does a lot for many people, not only yourself, but for the patients you take care of. So make sure that you, number one, remember to, you're on a pathway, do all the professional development you can. Number two, that you're part of the team, that you make sure that your team members know what's going on so that they can answer those questions when families call or doctors call or when the other occupations need to talk to you about what's happening with Mrs. Jones. And then lastly is bring some humor into your life and to others. That is what we need sometimes, just that little bit of smile and humor makes the medicine go down a lot easier. So thank you so much, and we are so proud of you. And congratulations, and on your way up. Thank you, Dr. Lake. A couple of announcements as we ask Patty Holman to come up and say some concluding words about our uh, program, um, especially on the scholarship side. 
Uh, after the program, we have some wonderful treats in the back. We'd love you to stay and fellowship with us. Uh, families, this is a great place for a photo op right here, so we would encourage you to do that. And we're going to ask our graduates to do one more thing at 4 o'clock. We're going to ask them to come to the board meeting and uh, go ahead and say a few words. And I know all of you are very excited about that, right? <laughs> yeah, well, they'll be very proud of you, and I'm certainly very proud of you along with the rest of the team. Thank you for, for blessing us. Okay, Patty, you have some closing remarks, and uh, then we'll adjourn for some fellowship. Thank you, Jay. Good afternoon, everybody. Congratulations. Absolutely. I think we're all a little emotional today to witness what happened here today. It is absolutely superb. Thank you to your families for being here today, for supporting uh, your uh, family members in this journey. And we want to thank our donors because, you know, when we go back to, we say, the days when we were in lockdown and we were trying to, you know, all get through together, I think we became better people, actually, in so many different ways. One of those ways actually would just reflect on our work with the Easter family of believing in the future vision that the team had here for creating our own dedicated space for learning, for lifelong learning, to support our staff in their future learning so they can be the very best for their own families, but for our residents too. And in doing so, serving the wider community. So thank you to our donors, thank you to our staff, who we all have our own journey here to Plymouth Place as well, but now to see the future right here before us in, and on their journey. And I look at Plymouth Place, I see residents that come to Plymouth Place and then I see the staff that come to Plymouth Place, all working together to make the world a better place, one conversation at a time. But it takes, it takes donor support to work with us, to partner with us in um, really mapping out, I would say, the new America, if you were to call it like that. So again, on behalf of our Office of Philanthropy, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for partnering with us and we look forward to the next graduation. I hear it's going to take place in April is the next process is going to take place, correct? Yes. Yep, April. So let's make the next one happen. So thank you so much. Thank you, Patty. We so appreciate everybody who came, especially our families. Thank you so much. And we're going to adjourn just in a moment, but why don't we have our graduates stand and give them one more round of applause. Let's have them stand. Graduates. Thank you, everybody. Join us in the back and fellowship with us. Thank you for coming.